Hi everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. About three, maybe just over three months ago, I posted my 2023 goal video and I have actually never set goals when it comes when it comes to like language learning specifically because I just started my language learning journey. But I set these goals and I wasn't really sure how they were going to work out and I was fully prepared to kind of adjust them as the year went and as I kind of learned how I like to study and learn languages. And now that we are in quarter two of 2023, somehow, oh my god, it went fast, um, I would like to say that I have kind of like gotten down the way I like to study a language very, very well. Um, and so we're just going to talk about some goals. All right, just like the year, we're going to start off with January. And I was doing really well with my Russian and ASL studies up until the 16th of January because that is when I started college so that took it takes up a lot basically all of my free time um and when i especially when i started college i had no idea how to balance my schedule around learning languages and doing the hobbies that i love like youtube channel videos and studying languages and of course playing sims and all of that like all of the things i love to do i had no idea how to balance them with starting college a very intensive accelerated college program to be exact so january the first half of the month went really really well i studied russian and I studied ASL. I learned the Russian alphabet. Um, but then the end of January happened and I didn't touch anything that involved learning a language because I was trying to not die from my new college schedule. So yeah. And I didn't study any Swedish during this month because I had just gotten out of kind of a toxic challenge with the language to learn to learn it in 90 days. Um, that was just like a clickbait title, but I was trying to see how much I could learn in 90 days. Um, haha, -ha, none, nothing. Okay, very little. I learned very little during those 90 days. So I didn't study anything when it came to Swedish during that. And we'll talk about Spanish at the end of the video. It's going to get its own little category. Um, it'll be the romance language category. How about that? Okay, so my February notes says, I effectively dropped Russian in favor of Swedish. I fell back in love with Swedish and I started playing Hogwarts Legacy in a language that is not English. So February is very... I think February can be summed up by I studied Swedish as much as I possibly could. Somewhere in February, I figured out a very good routine for school and I was able to balance my YouTube responsibilities re really well with my language learning and with my school studies um, because I was doing live streams very frequently because I got my live streaming abilities back in February. So I was streaming Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I was posting my Sims series challenge, stuff like that. And I was studying Swedish. I found a really good resource that I really do like. Um, and it is an Anki deck that has the first chapter of Harry Potter then I believe is what it's called um, that has it with the audiobook and like a sentence and so it's like a flashcard system and I really love that resource it was like it's one of my favorite resources for learning Swedish or at least it definitely was in February so I really fell back in love with learning Swedish at that time um, I stopped studying Russian because I just didn't have enough time to balance all of these languages so I chose the one that I wanted to learn the most which at this point in February was Swedish and even though I needed kind of needed, uh, would have preferred ASL to be the topmost priority for February. It was not. Anytime I could have studied ASL, I replaced it with Swedish. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about March because somehow I don't really know where it went. So March happened after February because that's how months work. And I don't know where it went. Like I honestly could not believe that I was sitting down planning out this video um, a couple days ago. I was like, wait, how are we in quarter two already? What the heck happened to March? Yeah, I don't know. I had a spring break week, no school, and I didn't really work a lot. I got to hang out with my uni, which was really fun. I'll leave that linked in the description box if you want to go watch our three hour live stream. Um, but no, no language study, absolutely none, and I don't know why, I, I, didn't, I didn't read that week, um, even though 
I have all of these library books that I need to return. Um, and it's it's this one right here, that one. So I have all of those books that I needed to I need to read and return to my job. Uh, and I didn't read anything. I didn't study any languages. I think I might have wrote a little bit because I was in the mood to write a break fan fiction so I think I might have done that um but I didn't do anything during that week that was mildly productive aside from of course becoming friends with my uni and actually getting to know her she's lovely I love her I'll leave her channel link down below if you guys are interested um yeah I just really didn't do anything in March because it flew by and then also after spring break I started up my second set of classes and every time I start a new class I kind of stop learning languages for the first week and apparently the second week because that's what happened at the end of March um because I'm trying to like get myself like used to the material I'm learning and kind of like the teacher and like what they want and depending on like how intensive the classes are I don't have as much free time because I'm taking microeconomics and composition so right now and uh, apparently those are too intensive to learn any language because I don't think I studied anything like very much at all in the month of March. I did get Clothes Master. I got a lifetime subscription to Clothes Master when they did their March Madness sale for 94 bucks. That is fantastic. Um, and so I did do that for a couple of days after I got it for Swedish. I do really, really like that and I want to use it more. I just stopped when I started, when the college classes started back up. So, yeah. That's kind of all of the months and I think it can be very much, it can be very summed up with, um, I didn't do a lot. <laughs> I don't know how 90 days came and went and I feel like I didn't do anything. I will say I am very, very happy to announce that I am out of the A1 side for Swedish. And I would say I'm also out of it for ASL. I would say both of ASL and Swedish are at the A2 level. By the end of the year in uh, ASL, I want to be like B2, cusp of C1. So I have a lot to learn before then, which is part of my goals for quarter two. Um, so I'm very happy to be out of A1 for both of them. I was kind of hesitant to take myself out of A1 for Swedish because I've been in there for so long and I feel like I'm not making much progress. But I, if you look at the CERF like list of what you can do, yeah, I'd say I'm in A2. And I just want to progress in my languages a lot faster. And to do that, I can't study as many of them as I want at the same time, sadly. So we are adjusting. We are, we are, we're trying to find a way. And that's all you can really do. So we did talk about what happened with Spanish. Imagine a trash can of wants and wishes and take Spanish and put it in there and then kick the trash can away because that is gone. Um, say goodbye. Adios. Au revoir. Salut. Hey, do Goodbye, okay? Because that did not happen. I know I studied, I, I made this whole study calendar at the start of the year for the first two weeks of January. And on there, I had one hour of Spanish on every, like on both, both on Fridays, I believe. And I didn't do it. I did the first hour and I could not do it. I seriously just, I was so uninterested in the language and I spent I spent like 15 minutes learning it and I was like no I don't want to I'm gonna do Russian which I think I feel like that's not enough time to really realize if I want to learn Spanish or not but I just I don't have the time to spit to focus um, on a language that I don't actually have any interest in. I'm a very busy college student now with a part-time job and a, a trying to study languages and have a YouTube channel. So trying to force myself to study Spanish when I do not want to is such a waste of my very, very little free time. So I very early on very very early on into the year not even like seven days I was like no we're not doing it if I ever get the one to learn Spanish again then yeah I'll pick it up but I really think school kind of just ruined it for me I uh, I'm done 
I'm done with Spanish. I'm not going to try anymore this year. I'm not going to try probably next year either because I don't have any interest in it. I don't want to. I know it would be so useful, but I don't have I don't have the right motivation to learn it. Just because it's going to be useful for a career is not something that I it's not a good reason that's not a good enough reason to do such a difficult thing as in learning the language and learning another language and so we're not doing it we're not doing it it's not working we moved on from spanish we did choose a different romance language though <laughs> on accident it was not planned at all but i wanted to play hogwarts legacy was not having very much fun in english and so i was like well what languages can i choose from and i thought swedish would have been an option Twas not, um, but French was. French, uh, French, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, Russian, those were all on there. And so instead of choosing Russian, which is a language I already said I was going to learn this year, I chose French and started thinking about it and realizing that I kind of like the way it sounds. I think it sounds really pretty and I might want to learn it. So I started dabbling with French on Duolingo and so I said goodbye to Spanish but I said hello to French and I'm not studying French like officially at all I'm just kind of like picking up a Duolingo lesson here and there so it's not an official language for this quarter or next quarter so that's what happened with Spanish I'm I'm not too mad about it I do wish I could have actually given it a chance but school ruin that um, both for my love for learning any languages I thought and then college just takes up too much time and I don't want to waste my my free time learning languages that I don't even really want to learn. Okay so that's going to be the end of this video. I originally planned on including my quarter two goals into this video but because I totally rambled on for 18 minutes about quarter one's uh, wrap up and how that went we're gonna split the videos into two. So yeah I promise I will have the second part to this video up as soon as I can get it edit edited but Sorry, the Lord, um, forgive me, you know, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and I'll see you guys all very, very soon, fingers crossed, for my quarter two video. I hope it'll be better than this and I hope it'll go better than quarter, the whole year goal video went because that was a mess to film. Anyway, you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Au revoir. Adios, hey do, saldo, goodbye, and um, I'll see you guys in my quarter two goal video. Mwah.